Taking a look at the energy markets today, WTI a big mover on the day, WTI up. Uh, we continue to see this upward pressure in the commodity space. We saw a nice run in the equity markets. We saw bonds come under some selling pressure. And with that, we saw a nice pop in WTI and Brent as well. WTI currently around the 6160 level. That's up quite significantly on the day. We did see a high of 6172, a low of 6017 this morning. But once again, as the equity markets took off today, we saw commodities jump higher and with that WTI catching a bid as well. Really started overnight uh, in China. We got some pretty positive news from China. The China Caxon Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index was higher than what the market anticipated. 50.8 was the reading. Prior to that, it had been 49.9, which is actually in a contraction type of setting. Uh, that was uh, the expectations going into to this morning, I should say, with the China number. And yet it, was, uh, it came out at 50.8, which indicates slight growth. And really what's driving this market is we've seen China bounce back and we continue to see the stimulus uh, that China central banks have attempted to... It increase and we're seeing that continue to build on itself. We're seeing some marginal growth now coming out of China and that transferred over to the U.S. markets. We saw a big run out in the equity markets. We're seeing the S&P up better than 1%. And with that, we're seeing again the commodity space pushing higher. Production is another driver, I think, today when you look at the WTI space. We're seeing, again, the news continuing to come out of uh, Saudi Arabia and OPEC that they're hardlining their current production cuts heading into their April meeting. And Saudi Arabia now running at around 9.82 million barrels per day. That's a four-year low for Saudi Arabia production output. And again, maintaining this lower trajectory in their production as we move into the April meeting and into the June deadline. Also, looking at Venezuela, you still have got some significant economic uh, unrest and political unrest there, and that continues to contract that market as well. And U.S. production has peaked, as I've pointed out here in the last couple of weeks, and we continue to see that really stand staying at the higher level, higher end of the range, I should say, but at the same time, not building on itself. And we're seeing, again, rig counts coming under a little bit of pressure, and we're actually seeing output coming under a little bit of pressure as well. Moving into the technicals in this market, I want to po point out that when you look at WTI, it's 2019 highs here at that 6160 level. So we're continuing to see the staircasing of WTI moving higher, and you're seeing a series of lower lows and lower highs really going back to that December low period and this technical stance as you continue to see this building and momentum in WTI, we're now at levels that we have not seen in WTI going back to the early November of 2018. And once again, as I pointed out the recently, a series of lower highs, excuse me, higher lows and higher highs continue to push this market upward.